967 KCAL rocks live in studios and ready to rock the KCAL Holiday Ball. It's Alien Ant Farm 40. Can you believe we got Terry and Tim in here? What's up, boys? Hello. Hi. How's it going? How did we finagle you guys to get you into the studios? <laughs> well, we live right up the street. That's well, right. That makes sense. <laughs> Riverside's own Alien Ant Farm. Yeah. We rock in our KCAL Holiday Ball, the seventh Holiday Ball. Man, we are looking forward to all this fun. Alien Ant Farm. Now, let's talk about what has Alien Ant Farm been up to? Man, we've been touring a lot. Yeah. It, it seems, seems like, like we're just kind of... We, we have like our little like schedule for the year now it seems like we've fallen into our little like you know you do a couple of national tours you know then every february we go over to the uk and europe and and then anything falls in between so we stay pretty busy playing shows right consistently uh, yeah yeah well we just got off of three months uh around the u.s and some canada dates we we're on the gen x tour uh with buck cherry pod lit ourselves and that was a long tour. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was three months, but you know, the the older we get, you know, right. it's the a longer rougher. the longer that seems. But I'm not long. complaining in any way. <laughs> it was just a long. It was a long tour, man. Live in studio, we're talking to Terry and to Tim of Alien Ant Farm. We wanted to ask you guys because, of course, we're so proud. I mean, you guys are hometown boys. What does it feel like to play a hometown concert like this? Because we're super pumped about it. Oh. You know, we don't get to do them that often yeah. anymore, which is makes it pretty special. It seems like, you know, like I said, I was talking about how much we tour, but we rarely like play in the area. And it seems like when we do, we only get to play like maybe L.A. Right, or, right. Or maybe San Diego Not- or Orange County sometimes. But Riverside's a rarity. I think the last time we played here, or, or the Inland Empire, I should say. No, no, because we did the RMA with P.O.D. and Powerflow. Oh, that's, right. that's, right. right. that's cool. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't remember what the date was, but it was a tour we did with it was the Soundboy Killers tour. with We tour with P.O.D. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're, those guys are our family, and we we tour together a lot. I don't think we've toured with Papa Roach or anybody as much as them. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we played the RMA with them. But that was literally two years ago. Yeah. It was like I two know. years. So. Now you get to come back and do a little uh, show for your hometown. Yeah. And it's like a huge house party. I can't wait. It's actually cool because you get to like kind of uh, access your like your family and your really close friends that never, ever get to see you. The right. people that like just right. kind of know you're out of town all the time Look and you come up, back right? and they're like, what have you been doing? Well, I play shows. Oh, yeah, you play shows? Knowing that you guys are from Riverside back in the day, you know, seeing you guys doing interviews on MTV from like Castle Park. Oh, yeah, like, I remember I remember that. seeing them. I'm like, dude, they're at Castle Park. Yeah, like, I go there all the time. Like, that. that blew my mind. We played miniature golf, yeah. Yeah, to see Castle Park on MTV back in the day was just mind-blowing. We were into that because <laughs> we've, always, we've always been like so like kind of hood ratty blue collar kind of band right. you know we're like I we're, we're lucky what we got we're, and yeah, we're just dirt ki- dirty kids from the ie and and we we appreciate what we got but we wanted to like bleed uh, everything that was <laughs> us into the world that we were entering you know i mean even like we did what was it uh we hosted uh something for mtv oh we did cribs yeah we did cribs and we did it at mike's uh Mike's like track home in <laughs> Moreno Valley like normal house. on the south side of Moreno Valley. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, and, and we brought them all there and we just kind of like hung out around the house and showed them how kind of ghetto we were. I love it, man. That's awesome. But it was funny because we had like, we wore our Grammy medallions and like smoking jackets and had pipes and stuff. <laughs> like, so it was kind of right. sophisticated. Fancied you know? up uh, a little we bit. were in Moreno Valley. So <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Alien Ant Farm is going to be rocking the holiday ball. It's December the 13th, Vibe Nightclub. You got to win your way in, and we have other special ways for you to get in. Well, let me put it to you this way: the IE is very excited, as we are too. Even within this building, uh, we have another radio station down the hall, and the producer down there. And she listens to like gospel. When she heard about Alien Ant Farm, all of a sudden, boom! She kicked open the door. Right. She's like, "Alien Ant Farm, dude!" I remember We're like you. <laughs> like, oh man, you like Alien no Ant Farm? Yeah. Uh, somehow, like I don't know. The, now, when you say you know she listens to the gospel, I mean. Somehow, like this, doing that Michael Jackson song, doing like an R and B song, has just really like broken down a lot of boundaries for us. And and uh, you know, being that it was number one, and and like just in every household, and still gets played on the radio. A couple it just times made it go day, everywhere. You know? Yeah, it's just people. I, and and I think our name is just kind of that weird too. Like I think people. I, I'll like run into you know like a, a senior citizen or something at like Disneyland, and like they ask, and I, <laughs> I say the name, and they're like, "Oh, I've heard of that." Right. And I'm like. I don't know if you have. It's just kind of like sounds weird and maybe you think you have or whatever. But like you, you know? said, I mean, the song and the band have kind of gone everywhere. I mean, 40, weren't we talking about, didn't you guys do the BET Awards? 
Well, on the roof, <laughs> it wasn't. As, it wasn't like we did the BET Awards like as much as we did the BET Awards. Okay. In. Uh, <laughs> when no, did that we, we kind of crashed video. It. We crashed the awards. Yeah, we actually right. did three versions. We 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 did the BET thing. We 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 literally like booked the roof of the building across the street, where, right? Like where Jimmy Kimmel does his show, and we we booked it saying that we were going to shoot a video on the roof. Um, we just didn't tell them that we were going to point all our speakers at the street right. and like drop a banner while the award ceremony was going on. We were supposed to be just setting up for the next day. And anyways, we, you know, the rest is history. We crashed their show. Everybody was mad. People were really pissed off at us. Oh, yeah. We were pissed. One of our favorite parts was the WTF face that the rappers were having. Well, when, you see, when you guys yeah. said, they look up like, what? You That's see Nelly bad. roll down the window just, what the f***? Yeah, we had, we had cameras planted everywhere, basically. Oh, great. And here's the thing, too, was um, the, the guy, Mark Clausfeld, the director that I told you, he had done a ton of rap videos. And he just knows everyone in the in the industry, so he knew when everyone was getting there, and like he just was ge- he was really genius, insider quite, information, quite genius about getting all of that like candid footage of those guys well, like reacting to us. It took some timing, you know. In today's yeah. day and age, you're never going to get another video like that again. You're not going to be able to no. set up rooftop next to a no. major events going down like uh, that ever yeah, again. Yeah, in this uh, in this climate, right for sure. But we did two others also. I wanted to throw in we we actually crashed the uh, front door line at the Staples Center for uh, Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera <laughs> concert. So a bunch of tweens or whatever. And and then uh, we also crashed the uh, Gay Pride Parade going down. We actually built a giant ant out of a semi-truck <laughs> and went down Santa Monica, Bo- like entered it in the parade and went down the Santa Monica Boulevard That's awesome. twice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shooting our video basically on it. It was great. Alien Ant Farm, man. The Holiday Ball. We're so excited for you guys to come out December the 13th. I can't wait, man. I can't wait either. I get to party and be home in bed by 1230. All in the same night. <laughs> Terry and Tim from Alien Ant Farm. We can't wait to see you guys in the Vibe Nightclub, man. Thank you so much for coming uh, by. Thanks. Thank I you can't guys. wait to see everybody and thank you guys for, for thinking of us and having us. It's It's our pleasure, you know? We listened to this station even before we were a band. So, Hometown. Yeah, absolutely. means a lot. Here it comes. The KCAL Holiday Ball is almost here. <laughs> Once again, KCAL is taking over the Vibe Nightclub at Morongo Casino with the IE Zone Alien Ant Farm. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Thursday, December 13th. With lots of fun and cash. And just like the moon. Only from 96.7 KCAL Rocks.